The universe of data is a very exciting place, and we machine learning people love exploring this universe. It's made up of code, metadata, and the interactions between them. Our data universe is an extremely complicated place. It's not necessarily about the code that we write, or the typing, or the compilers. It's about the products we build and the effect that it has on people. I am Aisha Evans, CEO at Zoox. The one thing we all agree upon is that AI is going to drive. And if AI is going to drive, one has to re-architect and redesign the vehicle to make it easiest and safest for AI to drive. That's what we're up to at Zoox. Imagine with me the endless possibilities when we use AI to amplify our own intelligence. AI promises to bring unparalleled benefits to the continent. AI is and will continue to provide us the opportunity to rewrite our future. And from Essentially, instead of it being artificial intelligence, it could be accelerated improvement, a way for human beings to evolve faster than we've ever been able to do in previous um, millennia. And it will also allow us to be better humans, to be able to use technology to help us connect um, and engage with people in a more meaningful way. So I was born and raised in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, where I was really interested in mathematics. I realized that actually I could explore both my interest in mathematics and my interest in questions around inequality and discrimination at the same time as a computer scientist. I am Abake Denle, the CEO and founder of Ajala, a startup that's building enterprise speech technologies for African languages. We are starting to see enterprises uh, adopt AI solutions in Africa. My name is Aisha Walcott Bryant. I'm a research scientist and manager at IBM Research Africa, based right here in Nairobi, Kenya. So when I saw that there was a lack of contribution from people of color and also women in the different AI tools that were being developed, uh, the only solution I thought was having early childhood tech education, but also inspiring those who are already in the workforce to pursue these types of uh, career paths. Robotics isn't something that's exotic. You can use everyday materials and actually create an autonomous system. The future of Africa really depends on our young people participating in civilization building, becoming creators of technology rather than just consumers. Because when you know how to create, then you can create solutions. You don't have to wait for someone else to create solutions for you. I'm Miguel Diakaban and I lead the Africa Forward Collective. The future of AI in Healthcare Without Borders is one where equitable and inclusive solutions developed by a diverse group of collaborators are deployed all over the world to places where they needed most to help serve as decision support. And along with them, there'll be policies in place to ensure that they're developed, deployed and used responsibly. By using, by virtue of using deep learning or by virtue of having these big data sets or whatever it may be, machine learning is a method where because you're using data rather than explicitly defining rules for prediction, you can't use it in particular contexts. You can't use the current version we have of it in particular contexts. And I think audit, audits have done a good job really um, exposing this fact. So I'm a data scientist at a company called Africa Stalking. I do a lot of work with building machine learning communities. AI brings a whole other aspect, which is how we've ended up in this age of artificial intelligence. I'm really excited about AI and development. I think that the fact that there is a need for development then makes AI even that more exciting for us to be applying. Any technology that has some type of human capability. So think of the five senses. If your technology can see, if your technology can hear, if it can sense you, then it certainly has computational elements that use machine learnings. 
I can see artificial intelligence helping doctors in identifying tumors or helping in diagnosis with certain diseases. I can see artificial intelligence in many, many, many applications mm -hmm. like agricultural robotics. I mean, you take any field, there is a place for AI there. And I, I think it's the future and I think it would definitely help humans not, not replace them.